Hi there, I'm back with part three of this tutorial. Um, in part two, we imported a Photoshop file into our After Effects project, and we did this little basic animation. We had uh, an anchor point moved for the hull of the boat. It rocks back and forth, and then it sails out into the harbor, and our water um, is scaled up a little bit and has some position keyframes. In this next section, we're gonna add a sky, and we're gonna animate the clouds. So we'll do the clouds first. Um, why don't we just make life really easy and we're just going to shy um, water front and water rear and then hide shy layers that way they're only looking at the clouds front and the cr clouds rear uh, we'll start with the clouds front um, what I want to do is uh, by the time night hits I want the clouds to be gone and what I think is going to happen is I think night is going to fall at around four seconds and by six seconds the clouds are going to be gone okay so what we're going to do is move to about six seconds and for both the clouds front and you can hold down shift and grab the clouds rear we're going to hit the p key for position um, then deselect them so they're not both selected but i do want to turn on the position keyframes for both um, at this point though i want the clouds to be gone now how you move the clouds is really up to you uh, i'm going to take my front clouds and i'm going to move them off to the left like that and I'm going to take my rear clouds and I'm going to move them off to the right like that. Okay? I know clouds don't move in two different directions, but uh, that's just the way I want to do it. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the beginning again. And I'm going to go to clouds rear and I'll move it back to where I want them to start. So I want the rear clouds um, to move a little, bit, uh, a little bit slower. So I'm going to make their line about that long. Okay. Remember the distance between the first keyframe and the last keyframe will determine your speed. So right now we have six seconds and if you just scrub through over those six seconds it's gonna sort of uh, float away. Perfect. Um, over the same six seconds I'm gonna grab these front clouds and I'm gonna move them just like that. Just bring them into the scene. Um, they have a much uh, shorter distance to travel and so they'll go a little bit slower. Okay, and you can see this is sort of the final result. Um, this is just a, a system of making keyframes and working backwards. So I figure out my end position first, and uh, then I figure out my uh, starting position. And uh, the end position was important because I wanted to turn to night sometime between four and a half and six seconds. Okay. So uh, the next thing is we need a sky. Um, and what we're going to do in After Effects is we're going to go to Layer new solid under name choose uh, we can put in sky and the color of the sky is going to be something that's kind of sky like um, let's pick a nice blue color okay and it should already be in your composition size so it should be 4000 by 1080 and click OK and then just take your sky layer and drag it to the back also return to frame zero. So this color is pretty good. If you ever want to adjust it, you can just go to uh, the layer settings and, and change that. What we want to do with this is we're going to start with this blue sky and we're going to have it turn to night. We're going to do that by adding a very simple effect. Uh, with sky selected, uh, go up to effect and uh, let's go to color correction and go to hue saturation. Okay, This is one of many ways that we could um, uh, we could change the sky's color. What I'd like you to do is turn on the colorize button. Okay. And what we have to do at this point is we have to uh, change our hue so that it's back to something blue. So um, we'll scrub that along until you get something you like. There we go. I like plus 210. That's about right. Your color might be a little bit different. You could also saturate it a little bit if you wanted to make it really, really bright and cartoony. There we go. That looks pretty good. Um, I actually might want to go a little bit lighter, though, because I want it to be different from my, from my water. This is my starting color. I've changed my three um, attributes, the hue, the saturation, the lightness. And so at this point, I want to turn on all three of those uh, stopwatches to set keys. Now, I'm working here in my effects controls. But I could also be working down here under Sky. Just hit the select the Sky and hit the E key on the keyboard. That opens up the effects. 
The only effect on it is hue saturation. So if you open that, you can now see all the different um, uh, things that I can adjust. And I have three keyframes. Now, I don't want these keyframes to change at all until about four seconds. So I'm going to drag all three of them over to about four seconds. Now, so I have my, my clouds moving along very nicely. I might change my clouds later on or bring in some more. But here we go. I want uh, at four seconds, or maybe a little before, I think I'm going to change that. Let's go to three and a half seconds or so. Uh, that's when night is going to start falling. And from this point until, let's say, five seconds, it's going to get much darker. And I'm just going to change the dark, uh, change the color by going through lightness and changing the keyframe. So I could do it from up here in my effects controls, or I could do it down here in the layer. It doesn't matter. But I'm just going to go where I have number 17, and I'm going to bring it down until it's minus 100. And you can see in your timeline that you've now created a keyframe, and it goes from 17, and it gets darker and darker and darker until you get to 100. And that's it. Of course, there's more stuff we could do. Uh, I could add another layer of clouds in there because um, right now I don't have enough clouds. and Maybe I should put in an extra layer of clouds so that things uh, look a little bit better. Um, maybe I would want to have the sun rise. Maybe we'll have the moon set, bring in some stars and all that other stuff. This is up to you. Uh, at this point, we've gone through some basics. We've done position. We've done rotation. Uh, we've, uh, and some of the basic keyframes. We've added an effect. We've made a new layer. At this point, we're pretty much ready to go. Okay, last step in this is this composition is, is very large and it doesn't really fit onto a regular TV screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this composition and bring it into another composition and move it around. So I'm just going to get rid of my, uh, I'm just going to go back into my project window here. Okay, and I'm going to go to composition, new composition. For this composition, uh, I want to use a preset. And we can use the HDTV 1080 preset. This fits my height perfectly, not exactly my width. Uh, 10 seconds is just fine. Okay, We'll call comp one, let's call it uh, Castle Final. Good place to name your composition. Now, Castle Final is smaller, right? It's not quite as wide. What we want to do is I want to take my Castle AE composition and bring it into my castle final composition. I can only see a little bit at a time. Okay. What I want to do now is um, move it over so that it shows the castle and that's where we start. Okay. And all we're going to do with this is we're going to create some keyframes for position. So with castle AE selected, click on P on the, on the keyboard and uh, start a keyframe. Now what I want to do is by the end of the composition, so 10 seconds, I want to be all the way on the other side. Let's just go to there. Okay. So at this point, slowly go through and see if it works. Uh, it doesn't quite work. It's not bad. So here we're going to have a nice little pan shot, right? It starts, we see the castle, and uh, it lines up just about right, so we see the boat, and then the boat takes off. Uh, unfortunately, our boat goes out of frame a little bit. And then at the end, it's totally out of frame before we catch up. So what I want to do is I just have to adjust that a little bit. And I'm just going to set up another keyframe. Go to a keyframe where your boat isn't there at all. Okay. And move it so it's there. Okay. This should almost do what we might need one more keyframe. So let's just see. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so all I've done, and I probably could have even just taken our third keyframe and moved it closer to around the seven and a half second mark. Um, but here we go, we just have this simple little pan shot, and now the boat pretty much stays central to our uh, window, and it moves along, and it ends right about there. Oh, we have a little mess up at the end. So it did screw up for me. I have two keyframes here, one at seven and a half and one at ten, and they're about the same. What I'm going to do is actually I'm going to delete this one at seven and a half, and I'm just going to move this one at ten to where it was. Okay, and that should do it for me. There, and now it just stays there. Okay, that's it. 
Okay, you can come back uh, next week and we're going to do another tutorial on um, linking up a character that you build in Photoshop and having it run around the screen. Until then, check out more tutorials.